Hello everyone, I'm your host Heather Dawson and welcome to the April edition of Healthy RC Living. Well, we continue our special first five series with a look at the Play School program. The Rancho Cucamonga Play School program is a carefully designed socialization program created to accommodate the needs of each individual age group and child. Our program starts uh, at age one and a half with a mommy and me class and then we have a twos, a threes, a fours, and then, and then actually a fives. What, what makes us different from everyone else is that um, we split the age groups into six months. So we have a twos class and then a twos plus, which allows us to kind of focus in um, developmentally where they're at and be able to, to foster their growth um, individually. The Play School program is a year-long program, just like a regular school. It's a nine-month program, so when the parents sign up in the beginning of the year, the, we, we hope that the child will stay on through the whole nine-month period. They make, they make three payments, uh, quarterly payments, to that, just like a regular tuition for a school. Um, and then that, that allows us to, to keep that child with that instructor. Children are given effective tools to learn and grow in a positive setting through a well-planned curriculum. Well, we meet with the kindergarten teachers in the school districts in our area once a year. We get together and we, and we kind of um, see the, the struggles they're having in their kindergarten classrooms and, and how we can meet those needs. So uh, using the preschool state standards that are online and getting the feedback from our actual elementary school kindergarten teachers, we're able to make a lesson plan that would meet the needs of that child. So they're able to go into kindergarten and, um, and test into these GATE programs. And here in Play School, we've done um, a really good job, I feel, with our staff in our classrooms and building our lesson plan around the, the mantra, which is healthy RC, mind, body, and earth. Well, our curriculum throughout the year touches anywhere from um, like letters, numbers, vowels, consonants. Um, we teach them, you know, the right way to read, how to write their names um, properly, where it's like the first letter is the uppercase letter and the other letters are lowercase. Um, they need to know their months, the days of the week in the right order, things like that. Um, we teach them how to socialize and we use a lot of like music cues in the classroom so that when they do go to, you know, elementary school, they know, oh, I hear a bell, it's time for me to go inside. So we do a lot of music cues and sound cues for them to be prepared for kindergarten. Play school staff are dedicated to serve and act on behalf of the needs and well-being of all children, with a primary focus on the provision of child socialization, development, and resources. We believe that kids learn through play and through being active. So everything that we do, whatever it is, whether it's an exercise song, whether it's you know sitting on the carpet and um, like clapping or stomping or doing things like that. It's all like being active and showing the kids that exercise is important. They're doing creative ideas, you know, to get them to just write a simple letter. He, um, for example, Miss Adrian told me she let the kids um, like write with shaving cream on the desk. And it's fun. It gets them excited. It gets them excited to actually want to do this. This is building the foundation of their learning blocks of what they're gonna go on and do in grammar school, in middle school, high school. So to get them early at this young age, the teachers here in this program is doing amazing things for the kids. The department's mission is to exceed community expectation through community service. Parents can count on a healthy and comfortable environment for their children, as well as an open door communication policy. Our program is advertised through the Grapevine and on the website. Parents um, can go onto the website anytime. We have all the information there. A priority registration is for the residents of Rancho and that usually begins in April, the first week of April, and they can do that directly online. Um, then um, within two weeks it opens up for uh, anyone else that wants to come in at that point. Play School program facilities include Lion Center East, Lions Center West, and the Goldie Lewis Community Center. All students must register at the Central Park Registration Office. 
For more information and any registration concerns, please call the Play School Registration Office. Reporting for Healthy RC, I'm Marco Gutierrez. And now let's head to the Pacific Electric Trail where the city is working on a new master plan to improve transportation options. Rancho Cucamonga has worked hard over the years to improve recreation and exercise opportunities in the city. In fact, there are now hundreds of miles of trails and paths throughout the city for walkers, joggers, and bicyclists. And the number of people who use those paths, like the Pacific Electric Trail, is a testament to its success. We walk the Pacific Electric Trail every morning with our dogs. We walk it for six miles and we use it almost every day. We love it. It's a passion. We love the setting and the environment and just how the trail system works. It's a great amenity to the city of, San of, the city of Ranch Cucamonga. There's no doubt about it, the trail system in Rancho has been a big success, and now the city is looking for ways to improve it. Generally our feedback is that people feel the trail system is wonderful in this community, that they enjoy being part of the community because of the facilities that we provide, and uh, just the, the general improvements of the trail system that we already have in place. And um, I don't think people understand how many miles of trails we actually have in the city, but not all of them link or connect. And so what we're looking at is trying to make those connections. So in an effort to make those connections and improvements, the city recently received a grant through the California Endowment to look into ways to make the trail system work better for everyone in the city. City officials were recently out at three locations surveying residents about improvements they'd like to see as the city prepares to update its bicycle and pedestrian master plan. And as part of that activity, we like to get out and, and find out what the community likes to see, what they feel um, are the good pieces and the bad pieces of what we've already put in place, and where we can improve those trail connections and uh, feeling of safety along the trail system that we have in place. Uh, we're doing a, a pretty massive uh, community engagement effort. We're talking to residents in the southwest Cucamonga area who might have some unique issues to walking and biking and, and access to public transportation than other areas of the city might. And this is all to help prioritize and direct what the city is going to focus on for the next several years. Survey questions include things like, how safe do you feel riding or walking in Rancho? What would encourage you to use the trail system more? and what improvements should the city focus on? This is a completely community-driven process, which is a little bit different. Typically, uh, what happens with a lot of these plans is you're trying to figure out what the community wants, and we don't do things like that here in Rancho Cucamonga. What we, what we want to see is we want the community tell, to tell us, what does health and wellness mean to you, and how can we best support you? And that survey process is continuing, with city officials out engaging the public at various locations throughout the community. You can also take the survey online at the city's website, cityofrc.us. Simply go to the planning department page and click on Current Projects. Take the time to give your input, as Rancho Cucamonga looks to improve its trail and bike path system throughout the city. I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living. Well, some of our healthy residents recently ran the LA Marathon, and as David Wiley explains, they had the support of each other and a local business. Running, it's one of the most basic and easiest forms of exercise. And in Rancho Cucamonga, it has also become a great way to socialize thanks to the Rancho Cucamonga Kangaroos Running Club. The club has been around for several years with the idea of inspiring and motivating local runners. In fact, on any given day, there's a good chance you'll see a kangaroo member along the Pacific Electric Trail. And now, with more than 300 members, the Kangaroos Club has become a place for support and friendship for those who enjoy running. Okay, we have a Facebook group of about 350 to 360 members of runners here in Rancho Cucamonga, and it's called the Rancho Cucamonga Kangaroos. There's our logo. And we meet up every Sunday on the trail and run, and of a few other meetup runs here and there random and it's a great community. The Kangaroos are an informal group that's open to anyone, no matter what fitness level. You just need an interest in running and getting in shape. And over the years, they've developed a close relationship with the local running store, Fleet Feet Sports. 
About three years ago when we were opening up the store Fleet Feet Sports, they came to us and asked us for um, support and just help them spread the word, help them grow the group and I've been very, very proud to be part of that group. Um, I can see it growing over the years and I, it's, it's just, um, it's a great group of people. And many of the kangaroos recently took on one of the biggest challenges there is for a runner, a marathon, specifically the LA Marathon, 26.2 miles from Dodger Stadium through the streets of Los Angeles to the beach at Santa Monica. So there's a whole bunch of us Rancho Cucamonga kangaroos that joined in the marathon and it was a little bit on the warm side, but it was good. It was my fifth time to run the LA Marathon and there's so many other people, a lot of folks in the kangaroos that did really well for themselves too. There's about two dozen of us that ran the LA Marathon with epic results. It feels great to cross any finish line, but when you finish uh, a 26.2 mile course, it's um, you, you can't help but feel proud and, and accomplished. And as you might imagine, running a marathon is not easy. If you're new to running, and you're having thoughts of running next year's LA Marathon with the kangaroos, well, it's probably best to get started now. I trained for 16 weeks. Um, I run all year long, so I have a good base, and um, I just started, I started training 16 weeks out. Yeah, anybody could run the LA Marathon with probably a solid one-year training. I've been running for a lot of years, and so if you're just barely into running, you could probably train up for it in six months, uh, but a year is better, and that's about what it takes. But in the end, the Rancho Cucamonga Kangaroos isn't about running marathons. It's about creating a community of runners in Rancho that support and encourage each other. You can learn more about the Kangaroos at their Facebook page or ask around the Fleet Feet Sports Store. If you're interested in running with them, they have a fun run virtually every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. at Amethyst and the Pacific Electric Trail. Hope to see you out there. I'm David Wiley for a Healthy RC Living. If the LA Marathon is too big of a commitment, well then the local Grape Stomp may be more your speed. More than 200 people recently took part in the 5th Annual Grape Stomp Triathlon at Chafee College. The triathlon started with a 5K run on a hilly course through the college campus. Then the runners quickly switched to their bikes for an eight mile ride before returning to Chafee for a 100 yard swim. The event is designed for all skill levels, presenting a challenging course for experienced racers while short enough for newcomers who want to give a triathlon a try. We get the real um, enthusiastic, fit triathlon people and uh, we get people who are trying to get healthy and get active. Most people can, you know, run a walk, you know, 5K, and then the eight miles on the bike and then a hundred yard swim. It's, um, it's, it's as challenging as you want it to be. Now in its fifth year, the Grape Stomp Triathlon was the idea of Daniel Caldera and others who'd been competing in these types of events and thought it would be a good fit for Rancho. It's something that I did starting probably about eight years ago, always said I wanted to try one, got into it and saw how they were really starting to become popular and really great for people getting into fitness and so forth. So I thought, let's start something like that in our local community here in Rancho Cucamonga. The Grape Stomp Triathlon really has two purposes. It's proven to be a good, fun way to promote fitness while acting as a fundraiser for the local Rotary Club. It's a good fundraiser. Like with the Rotary, they use this as a good fundraiser to support their programs. So it really helps out the community and gets the community involved in a healthy and fit lifestyle. I mean, this is a day and age when many more people are, are uh, uh, mindful of their fitness than it was when I was a lot younger. And um, uh, it just seems almost unnatural to do something that, that does that. Each one of the racers in the Grape Stomp Triathlon had their own story of what brought them to the event and how they got there. And many of those stories were inspirational. 
like new mom Courtney Wiseman, who won the women's division of the triathlon just nine months after giving birth to a little boy. Put your mind to it and do it and do it as hard as you can and just focus. If you focus on it, you can do it. In addition to Courtney, in the team competition of the triathlon, it was won by Chafee College fitness professor Patty Peoples and two of her students. And while all this may seem overwhelming for those who aren't very active, Patty says it's easy to start a fitness program. Just get a pair of shoes and get out the door. You know, once you put the shoes on, it kind of goes, okay, I'm going to go for a walk. And walking is the best way to ever start a, a program because we walk all the time. We just don't necessarily fitness walk. And then the more that you actually have a program, an exercise program, you can set some goals. And so you have a reason to get out the door and you set those goals. And it's very, it's, it's a great feeling when you accomplish a goal. And then you kind of go, oh, okay, let me see what else I can do. And as more and more Rancho residents get active, events like this one will become more and more popular. A healthy, um, fitter community um, is a great thing, and this is part of that. From the Grape Stomp Triathlon at Chafee College, I'm David Wiley for a Healthy RC Living. Well, there's no doubt that Rancho Cucamonga is considered a green city. And as J.R. Ibarra shows us, there are many plans for this year's Earth Day. The Beyond Library at Victoria Gardens recently hosted the 7th Annual Rancho Cucamonga Healthy RC Earth Day Celebration. Dozens of vendors and organizations were on hand to inform local residents about ways they could be better environmental stewards. Our Earth Day event today really highlights what residents can do um, and play their part in helping the environment. So we're offering shred free shredding today where we can divert um, uh, paper from the landfill and then that material can be recycled into paper. Um, we're, we're happy that our Public Works Services Department is partnering with vendors to uh, teach residents about uh, drought, uh, drought tolerant plantings and uh, alternative means of uh, turf. We also have our um, Rancho Cucamonga Municipal Utility um, sharing information with the public today about alternative means of uh, energy that they can install such as solar panels. The Earth Day event traditionally attracts about 800 visitors eager to learn how the city is working to make a greener community and looking for ways they can contribute in making a positive environmental impact. There were booths explaining the benefits of solar power, low energy light bulbs, and how to reduce the amount of waste being sent to local landfills, as well as info on green transportation, land use, green building, and water conservation. There were also displays of drought tolerant plants and a unique way to get your spring garden started. Well, the library always tries to find crafts where we can reuse products that we might find in our everyday household. So um, Kristen Braley, who works at the library, suggested that we use K-Cups. They generally have a one-time use um, and cannot be recycled. So we're using the K-Cups today as a seed starter for um, planting in your garden. And when it comes to good environmental stewardship, the city is leading by example. It already has a number of environmental friendly programs in effect that are helping in many different ways, including the Green Business Program that recognizes local businesses that are reducing their environmental impact. The city also is an electric vehicle friendly city. We have 10 electric vehicle charging stations that are owned by the city, which are level two, as well as we're very happy to have the Tesla superchargers that were recently installed at Victoria Gardens. The city is also teaming up with the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes for Recycle Tuesdays. Residents who bring in 10 CRV containers to a Tuesday Quakes game get a free ticket. The city is also looking to the future and is in the process of getting public input in developing a 20-year sustainability action program that will focus on energy efficiency and waste reduction, as well as other health initiatives. And to be able to move forward to be able to have a blueprint on making a difference in the world so that in 20 years from now, the city of Ranch Cucamonga will very much be a green and sustainable, more sustainable city. For more information on the Sustainability Action Plan and other environmental and healthy RC related programs, simply go to the Healthy RC page on the city's website 
at cityofrc.us. I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living. The younger generations have literally grown up with the green message, and now they are doing their part to help in the city's sustainability efforts. The Rancho Cucamonga Earth Day celebration received a helping hand from the Etiwanda High School Environmental Club this year. Club advisor Mr. Dinali tells us more. Five or six years ago, uh, the city of Rancho reached out to us for some help in organizing uh, America Recycles Day and Earth Day. And uh, since that's kind of our uh, mission statement that we were happy to help and it's worked out uh, really well that we've created a partnership with the city of Rancho. Now the Earth Day activities are coming up and it really the entire uh, venue is filled with booths just like when you go to the fair and everybody's pitching something different and free uh, information, uh, low flow shower heads, things of that nature. And so our kids get there at 730 in the morning and they they set it up and then they have a booth, an information booth to answer anybody's questions about anything and then they're there to break it down. And they give something back to the community and that's what it's all about. The environmental club works closely with the city of Rancho Cucamonga, making sure to serve community needs. Currently, there are the representative for Rancho uh, knows there's an open door here and she has something that she needs help with. She comes on Wednesdays, because we meet every Wednesday right after school, and she pr proposes what her needs are, and the club uh, uh, responds. And so it's, it's been a great partnership. Well, ever since I started uh, teaching AP Environmental Science and uh, prep classes for Environmental Science, it seemed that there was a need for uh, community service aspect of those classes. So if, if there are any organizations out there that are looking for help with uh, in our environmental management, give us a call and let's see if we can partner and help you out. For more information, you could contact the Environmental Club Advisor, Tom Dinoli by calling Etiwanda High School at 909-899 2531. Reporting for Healthy RC, I'm Marco Gutierrez. Now it's time to take a look back at the amazing accomplishments of the Healthy RC program here in our city. It's expected to be the largest sporting event in 2015 and it's coming to Southern California. The Special Olympics World Games is coming to Los Angeles in July and it's expected to draw 7,000 international athletes, 30,000 volunteers, and over a half million spectators. This will not only be the biggest sporting event of 2015, it'll be the largest event of any kind in Southern California since the 1984 Olympics. And Rancho Cucamonga will be playing a very special part in these games. During an announcement before the November 5th City Council meeting, event officials declared Rancho Cucamonga a host town for the Special Olympics World Games. The Rancho Cucamonga City Council was joined by officials from the Games to raise the Special Olympics flag after the big announcement. Being a host town means that Rancho Cucamonga will host some of the many athletes coming to Southern California prior to the start of the Games on July 25th. Already a number of representatives marched in the city's Founders Day Parade and got a warm Rancho Cucamonga welcome from the crowd. And more celebrations and acknowledgments of the Special Olympics World Games and these very special athletes are planned in Rancho Cucamonga in the coming months. Be part of it. Help support these special athletes during this special year. I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living.
Well, that wraps up our April show. Don't worry, if you missed any part of our episode, you can always watch it here on Channel 3 or go online to healthyrc.info. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Heather Dawson. Our show, Healthy RC Living, highlights just a few of the wonderful activities that enhance the mind, body, and earth. We take you to events around the city that'll enrich your mind. Live performances, library computer classes, and story hours are just a few of the ways the city helps people of any age learn and expand their abilities and imaginations. We also show you all the ways our city can help keep your body healthy. There's no better city for outdoor exercise, and we'll make sure you know all the fitness opportunities available in Rancho Cucamonga with our on-location reports. You'll also see how our city is doing its part to protect the earth now and for our future generations. Join us as we explore all of the ways Rancho Cucamonga is making it easy to enjoy healthy living. Sounds like you could use some Van Gogurt. It's fortified with arch-rich nutrients to improve your math and reading skills. Catch! Van Gogurt, thanks. So what's the deal with your ear? Always with the ear, huh? Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org.